Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to calculate a limit without using Laputa's rule, things like that, because this is actually one of the first things that you guys have to learn in your Calc 1 or AP Calc AB class. So have a look right here. I will show you the limit as x approaching 16 of, here that says we have square root of x minus 4 over x minus 16. Well, you see, if you put 16 to this x and that x, on the top we get 0, on the bottom we also get 0. But that doesn't mean that we don't have any answer for this. When we are calculating limits, if we get 0 over 0, that just means that we will have to do more work. Well, this is the work that we can do. Well, you see that we have a rational expression here with square root, so it's a good idea to use the conjugate. So right here on the top, I'm going to multiply this by square root of x plus 4, and then let's of course do the same thing, that's square root of x plus 4. Okay, let's go ahead and write down the limit. I know we are all lazy, we don't want to write this down, but please just write it down. The limit is x approaching 16, alright? Okay, multiply on the top, because that's the one that we are trying to fix. But multiplying on the top is not so bad, because it's just the difference of two squares. Namely, you square the square root, which is just going to be x, right, inside. And then minus, you square the 4, which is 16. So here you get x and then minus 16. On the bottom, you just leave it, which is x minus 16 times square root of x plus 4. Now, you see that this and that cancel very nicely, and we're just going to plug in 16 to the remaining x right here. So you can see this is equal to 1 over square root of 16 plus 4. And ladies and gentlemen, work that out. When we get a nice number, that will be our nice answer. And the final answer is 1 over 8. As you guys can see, that's it. <laughs> Pretty good. That's 